Hi everyone, you're watching the Advanced Canva series. If you're not familiar with Canva, watch our Canva Crash Course series where you'll be able to go through and learn how to create a free account and learn the basics of Canva and what it can do. If you're already familiar with Canva, then let's get started. In this video, we're going to make a Facebook testimonial for your social media page using Canva's templates and design elements. To start, let's see what Canva has in the way of templated layouts. We'll go up to the search bar and type in testimonial and hit enter. They've got quite an array of templates to choose from, so this is where your own business style comes into play. Keep in mind though that at the bottom left of each thumbnail, there's a free icon or a paid icon. The paid ones usually include photos that you'll need to purchase the license for, but if you like the design and have your own images, these are still options you can use. For ease of use, I'm going to select one of the free versions for this video. What we're looking for is a good layout for what you have. Meaning, if you have just a quote for a customer, we'll want to have a simpler design that doesn't have any images to it. If you have an image of the customer, you can look for a layout that includes a photo frame. If you have images of the customer and your product or service that they used, you can look for layouts that include more than one image. For this tutorial, let's say that we have a headshot of the client and we have an image from our own business that we can use. So we'll scroll through the options here and find one that we like. Keep in mind that almost everything about these can be changed or added to. So if you like the layout of one, but not the coloring or the elements in it, you can choose it anyway and then just change what you want to. For this video, I'm going to pick this template. When this opens, you'll notice a few things. First, for this template that we chose, the background is an image with a color overlay. The second thing is that the customer image is in a circle frame, but let's start with the background. If you have an image that you want to use of either your product or service or some image that you think would fit this testimonial, you can upload it through the uploads tab here. Or another option is to browse Canva's photos and find ones that you like. If you don't have a Canva Pro account, you'll still have access to some of their free photos. Or if there's a photo that you really like that you think would really fit, you can buy it through Canva. Or there are a few sites with free stock images such as unsplash.com and pexels.com. Pexels is nice because it also has free videos for commercial use. For now, let's find some of Canva's free photos to use for our background. You can either browse the photos here, or you can search for specific themes. For instance, if you have a yoga studio, you can search for specific photos by typing in yoga. For this tutorial, let's say we have a line of skincare and one of the clients was very satisfied with our products, so they gave us a testimonial. Now, we can try looking up skincare and browse the options here, but we'll have to be careful of what image we choose. Our template includes a white block in the middle to show our text. So we'll need to find a simpler image that mainly uses color or patterns or an image that has products around the border or some kind of elements surrounding the border. Looking through these options, we see a lot of faces or we see products, but they're in the middle of the image. So not a lot of options here, but if we exit out of this, and go back to the main options and scroll down, there's this image here. It looks like waves, but it's simple. It has a pattern to it, and there's not really a subject, so this could make the perfect background. So we'll go ahead and click and drag this image to our background area to put it as part of the background. So now it crops the image for us, but if we really wanted to, we can double click this background to show the whole image and we can adjust the crop from there. So once we've positioned it how we want, we can also change the overlay. If we go through the settings here, we'll see that this actually isn't an overlay. This is the color of the background and the transparency of the photo on top of it is set to 25, giving it the illusion of an overlay. So we can adjust that here if we wanna show more of the background detail. In this instance though, having the transparency set to this number brings more focus to the testimonial review and not the background, which is what we want. So we'll go ahead and keep the transparency as is. 
If you want a different colored background to match your brand colors, you can go up here and click on the color block to adjust the color. We can choose from the default colors, from the colors in the photo, or we can choose our own color up here. Let's go ahead and choose this darker gray from the photo and set that as the background color. Now that we've got the background set, let's change up the design a little bit. This particular template has a rated review. This template can be used for that, but typically testimonials are a bit longer and are given to the business directly from the customer and not through a Facebook review or Google review. They're usually an entire segment with a customer talking about their experience with the product or service and why they would recommend it to others. The point of this testimonial template is to choose a snippet from the full testimonial to showcase on social media. This works not only as a customer spotlight, but also as a teaser, encouraging people to view your website to view the full testimonial, as well as the product or service that your customer is speaking so highly of. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and delete the stars up here. There's a bit of empty space up there now, but you can either add your own graphics, you can add your logo, or you can browse Canva's elements to see if there's anything that would fit. Let's go ahead and do that and see what Canva has to offer. So we'll go to the Elements tab here, and we can type in skincare. And there are a few options here that can work, or we can look up general items like bottle or brush. I actually like this brush element here. It gives a nice line that fills up this space here pretty nicely, and we can even change the colors of it. We'll go ahead and add this and resize it to fit in this area up here above the name text. Let's go ahead and change the color too and make it all this gray color to fit with the color scheme we have already. We can even get a little bit more creative with it and we can duplicate this brush. So we'll just hit Command C and Command V and then we'll make it a little bit smaller using those circles on the outside here and we'll change the angle just a little bit and there we've just created our own graphic for the testimonial. Once you have the design all set, you can upload the image of your customer through the Uploads tab, and this particular template has a circle frame all ready for you. But if you wanted to change the style of the frame, you can find Canva's different frame options in the Elements tab here. Let's say that you want this frame instead. We'll go ahead and click on this, We'll resize the frame using these circles again in the corners, and we'll fit it right about here. From there, you can upload your customer image and insert it into the frame by clicking and dragging. For this tutorial, I'll just go ahead and find a stock photo as a placement holder. To readjust your image, you can double click on the frame and move the image around from there. If you want to add some finishing touches to your testimonial piece, you can find colors that match the photo and add them into your testimonial design. For example, these brushes here I kept gray, but one way to unify the photo with your testimonial design is that we can take colors from this photo and add it into the rest of the design. So I'll go ahead and take this red from the image and change one of our brushes to that color. We'll go through and make this handle dark red, and then we'll make this brush part the lighter red. And there we go. All that's left to do now is input that chosen snippet from your full testimonial into the text box here, change up the information on the bottom, and personalize it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy designing!